So today, we are looking at qualitative graphs that have nonlinear parts. All right? So for example, these graphs on the right, where they're curves. All right, now the best way to understand what these mean is to kind of think of them as made up of a bunch of segments, all right? Because we've done this before. So take a look at this example on the left here. Notice this is an increasing set of intervals. We start out increasing here, and then we get a little bit faster, and then we get even faster still. So we start out slow, faster, fastest. Now that's basically what this curve is showing. All right, so notice at the beginning, it starts off pretty flat, then it gradually gets steeper, 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 and then at the end, it's pretty steep. All right, so when you see a curve like this, it represents that the rate is speeding up. All right, so it's getting faster. Whereas, take a look at this second curve. And again, I like to represent it first by looking at a series of segments. Notice this curve kind of starts out like this with this really steep line. It's increasing really steeply, and then it kind of increases but less steep, and then it gets kind of flat. It's still increasing, but it's flatter. So notice it starts out fast, and then it slows down a little bit, and then it gets even slower. So what this represents is that it starts out fast, slows down, and then goes slower. This is slowing down. Okay, Both of these are increasing, but this one's increasing at a faster and faster rate as time goes on. This one's increasing at a slower and slower rate as time goes on. All right. Now let's look at some decreasing ones. So notice this one. This one is going down. It's decreasing. So let's look at the segments to kind of understand what's going on. Notice at first it's decreasing very sharply. So it's decreasing very fast. But then it's a little less steep. And then near the bottom it's almost flat. So this is decreasing, but the rate at which it's decreasing is slowing down. All right. Whereas this one over here, notice this one starts out kind of flat. So it's decreasing kind of slowly. Then it gets a little bit steeper, steeper. So it's getting faster. And then by the end, it's going pretty quickly down. It's pretty steep going down. So this one's decreasing, but it's speeding up the rate of decrease. All right? So these can be a little confusing, particularly because the increasing and decreasing. But when you look at these curves, try to think of it as a series of segments. And then it makes more sense. All right? So let's look at a scenario here. Interpreting nonlinear qualitative graphs. So suppose we have this scenario. Write a scenario that the graph could represent. We've got time on the x-axis. We got distance on the y-axis. And we want to write a scenario that matches this. Okay. Now we're just going to use the same ideas we were just talking about. Okay. So notice this is made up of four intervals, one, two, three, and four. So let's look at this first interval. Notice in this first interval, it starts out kind of flat, then it gets steeper and steeper and steeper and steeper. So this is speeding up. It's increasing because it's going up and it's speeding up. So maybe if we're going to make this scenario, maybe we're leaving home and going for a jog. In this case right here, we left home because we started at zero. We left home, but we started slow, and then we started going faster and faster and faster. So we could say something like, well, we left home, started out slowly, and then started speeding up. 
All right, that leads us to the second interval right here. And at that second interval, notice, this is a flat line. This is a constant interval. The distance is neither increasing nor decreasing. So in this case, we've stopped making progress. Or in other words, maybe we stopped and took a break. All right. Which leads us to the third interval right here. And notice, another curved section. This one starts out steep and then starts getting less steep, less steep, less steep, and less steep. So it's increasing very quickly at first but then increasing less and less steep. So we're slowing down a bit. So at start, first we're starting out quickly. That's why it's starting out so steep. But then notice it gets flatter and flatter and flatter. That means we are slowing down. All right, that leads us to the last section right here. Now, this is a decreasing interval. And notice this one's a straight line, so this one is decreasing at a constant rate. So they're not speeding up or slowing down. We're decreasing at a steady pace. So in this case, because we're going back to zero, we could say we ran home at a steady pace. All right. So the key to nonlinear parts of qualitative graphs is really thinking about each part as almost a series of segments and think about what's happening with each segment. Is it starting out steep and then gradually getting flatter? Or is it starting out flat and gradually getting steeper? That'll help you interpret what's going on. All right. So hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, please hit that like button. Also subscribe because it really helps us out. But that being said, good luck on your math and I will see you next time.